Hello everyone and welcome back to City Skylines in the city of Kingsland. And for today's episode, our main goal is to get to 28,000 citizens. It's gonna have to, to go across two milestones because I want to unlock the next square, which is gonna be the one that will allow us to build next to the, to the castle that we have in there. And we're gonna be able to do some stuff that are gonna be very detailed with a lot of hand placing buildings and maybe overlapping a few of them. But we want to get to build this area, which is gonna be our first very detailed area. Right before we start with the video, I want you to go to the subscribe button so you can be part of this community. And if you like the episode, you could give us a thumbs up. You could share it with some friends and give us a comment with your thoughts about the episode. If you think that there's something that should be done different, if there's a district that should have a different name, you should put it in the comment section so we can see and take your opinions. So we started by doing this normal intersection here, but with a few avenues, different ones, ones that are holding the tram and these ones that will be two plus three, two plus two, and stuff like that that are included in the Vanilla Plus Plus pack that I'm gonna leave you the link in the description if you wanna use them. They have a lot of roads. And then I used some help from the intersection marking tools, node controller, and a few of the mods that are very useful for the for building roads and intersection. And also, as always, from the Traffic Manager President Edition, which was very helpful for achieving this one. Then I went to making the grid system that we're gonna be having in here that is a very crazy one as the ones that we have in the city right now. But I want to resemble the aesthetic of a European city. And I went to, to these small squares because the buildings that we're gonna be using in this district are gonna be very small but at the same time, we'll be able to hold a very good amount of people. The district team that we're going to be using in here is called Scottish Tenement. And you're gonna, have, excuse me if I mispronunciate the the name because you know english is not my first language and i am trying so hard to do stuff good but this is the name scottish tenement and i'm gonna leave you a link in the description to that it's very useful but when you start using it you had to do some tweaks to it because the first thing is that the theme comes but has no buildings included in it. So you gotta have to go to the theme manager and select all the, the buildings that has the name. They are a lot, a lot of building with the same name. You select them all and then you include it to the, to the team. But when you start growing your district that the building starts spawning, you're gonna have to rush to the realistic population mode and adjust the population of every single one of the building because all of them can hunt only three or two households and that's not realistic. These ones are for 20 and 25 households. So I had to do it manually. You're gonna have to do it too, but 
it's going to worth the effort that you're going to have to put into it. When we press play, a few, three or four buildings spawn immediately, but suddenly the demand got low. So we had to leave it there and go to do something else in another, another part of the city. When I was panning through this area, I found these train tracks that are in the middle of everything, cutting through the old town and the pedestrian district that we have in here. And then I decided that I should maybe join these two together by paths and parks and stuff like that. And I decided to put these train tracks in like a tunnel. But then I saw that I have two bridges that I want to preserve so I have to make like a nice entrance to the tunnel and something that can resemble what we are building in here. So I started detailing these tunnel entrances with few tunnel props, a, this quay that comes in the content creator pack. And then I added a few plant props, these ibis that give them a nice touch. Then with all that space that we have in here, I decided to start making like a fortless or something like a small castle that could maybe be the house of a rich guy that maybe is not the king of the, of the town, but is someone very important. So I decided to make that happen in here. And this one very nice. I made few gardens and stuff that maybe the the city decided to maintain or or maybe change and i put some path that people started to use right on when we let's say inaugurated because this connect the city with the pedestrian area and it's like a shortcut so it came very handy to the build that we are doing in here. I was so satisfied with the result of what we made in here that I decided that we should do it at the other side, but it doesn't look good to have the same in both sides. So in here, I just placed a garden with few trees and stuff, but inside some part of the fortress, maybe something that it got destroyed with the time and I placed some pots and yeah, maybe I'm gonna look for a prop that looks like a ruined castle or something like that that could work in here. But by now, everybody's loving what we have done in here. Everybody is using the paths to go to the pedestrian district. And this is something very nice that is doing what it's supposed to do in here. When I finished with the build of the castles and stuff that I was doing, I checked my population and I realized that I am very near to the 28,000 mark that I was aiming to. So this just needs a little bit of time to grow. We have plenty of space for more building to spawn. And I think that we are going to be hitting this target by the time that we get to the next episode. So I'm gonna leave it like this for now because it's gonna be a short one. I don't wanna, I don't wanna fill you up with all doing the same and having 
dead time waiting for the citizens to come. So this is going to be it for this episode. I hope that you like the build that we have done. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the notification button so you can be notified when we upload the next episode that is going to be the start of the build around the castle. It's going to be a very interesting one. And give us a comment where you put your thoughts about the way that we are building and things that we can maybe improve. So that's going to be it for today's episode. See you in the next one.